guys. Um, it's my first solo live. So excited. Hi. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. First solo live. Can't wait. Um, I don't know if I'm doing this right yet. I'm like a little bit nervous. Okay. So today we're doing a makeup show. Um, I have been personally really excited. I don't know if anyone's told you guys. I don't know if you guys are in on the hype, but it's a really exciting show, makeup show. We are offering, oh, hey, people are starting to come on. Hi, Nancy. Okay, we're offering, well, I'm gonna wait and tell you guys the free gift in a little bit, but I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial. So I have come fresh faced, okay? Um, Okay, I actually am gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on. So there's a free gift, and it is this Garnet lipstick, this beautiful shade, Garnet, free gift with any purchase of $34.99 or more. Free gift, Garnet lipstick. All you have to do is spend $39.99 or more, and you get this free, beautiful lipstick. We will be trying all the lipsticks, so you can see how they look. And yeah, should we just get to it? Let's let's get started. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with clean hands because your girl gets acne and I can't risk a breakout. So just um, stay patient while I wash my hands over the sink over here. Okay. Okay, done. Now we're gonna start with some foundation. We have all these wonderful shades. So this is what the foundation's like. This one's porcelain. This is like a lighter shade. I think my mom said I was probably, I think I'm sand. I, yeah, let me see. I think I'm sand. Maybe I'll mix a few. So we have porcelain, sand, honey, light, honey, media, or no, we have honey, medium, bronze, and mocha. Okay, sand, here we go. Okay, someone's already asking, how to apply concealer looking creamy versus flaky, please? I got you covered. We're gonna go over all of this. Okay, the great thing about my grandma's products, like you all know, is that they are non-toxic and fully natural. Okay, this looks a little, that looks a little dark for me, so here we go. I'm gonna mix it. Sometimes I do mix these. Anyway. Um, this is porcelain. So I'm mixing porcelain and sand here. And sometimes what I do is I put a little moisturizer with it, just a little bit, not too much or else it like separates, but just to make it nice and creamy. I'm gonna mix these two. Look at this beautiful couleur. You can see how that's really starting to blend into my skin tone. I think I could go a little lighter though. It's winter, the girls are not tan. Okay. So what's great about these products is that they are all natural, toxic free. Do you know how many chemicals are in most foundations? It's actually disturbing. Um, and it's like things that we don't think about that we put on our faces every day. Look at how nicely that's blending. And I can feel so good about doing my makeup with all of these products, seriously. And they're great products, like I actually use them. Okay. So I'm starting with a coat of foundation. I got a lot of commentary last time, last show, about like, how did you do your eyeliner like that? Blah, blah, blah. People were loving the eyeliner. And I'll say I was slaying because I was going on a date later that day. So someone's saying, because of your grandmother, I started to read the ingredients on everything. Good, you should. Because, yeah, sorry, I don't use a brush. Um, sorry, ADD's off the charts with all the, all the comment, everything going on. It's just, you know, we don't have my mom here to ground me. So we're going to be switching topics a little bit here and there. Um, okay, yeah, but I got a lot of comments, people being like, how'd you do your eyeliner? So I'm going to show you how to do, like, a day to night, a very buildable look. So you got to start with your foundation. Perfect, clean foundation. I don't know how much these products are, but again, free gift with, if you spend $34.99 or more. So that's, you know, less than $35 and you're getting a free gift. Like Suzanne Organics is hooking it up. So anyway, we're starting with our foundation. We're gonna do a little concealer here. I do it, here's where I do it. 
First of all, I warm it up in my hands. It's a little bit thick because it's non-toxic. Like the texture is a little thicker. So really give it a second to warm up and then it'll start to get very creamy. And I do a little dab under the eyes. I know that we have some late nights. We get some dark circles. It's all good. Just do a little blendy blend under here. And I put some right here too. And then any blemishes like here, I have one there, right? Sometimes I put it under my eyebrows, but I don't know if that's suggested, so don't tell anyone. And um, yeah, underneath the lips is good too, because sometimes it makes them look bigger. Okay, where's mom? I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to like give out all the information. So we're just gonna keep a little mystery today. Okay, I'm blending this out. Look at how great this sort of like makeup base is. Like how great that my makeup can look like this and that my skin can look this clean with all natural products. This like this actually doesn't exist. Like using makeup that's non talk I mean it's just so rare. All like so many of like the best makeup brands, they're really not the best. They're very toxic. Okay. So that's how we did it. If you don't want it to look cakey cuz someone asked, first of all, this is a great product, so it's not really going to get cakey naturally. And then I've heard to tap under the eyes, you just tap. Um, someone asked, what if you have wrinkles under your eyes? I guess tap. Um, uh, I can, yeah, tap. We're gonna tap away. Okay, now I think we're gonna do eyeshadow. Yeah, eyeshadow. The concealer, what color is it? Light, medium. This concealer is great. It's covering everything. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah's got my back tonight. Um, Everyone's being so sweet. This is just, this has been a joy so far, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use a brush. Um, no, I don't really use brushes for, for foundation and stuff because, and I don't use sponges just because they do collect bacteria and I'm not that into it. Um, I think my hands are God's greatest gift. So I prefer to just blend it out that way. Okay, so I'm gonna take kind of a big brush like this. This is just how I like to do my makeup, take it or leave it, okay? You gotta know what works for your face. I use the lightest color here and I put it all over my whole eye. Whole eye. You know, you can darken up your eyes, but right now, we're going for that slightly closed lid, that old Hollywood, that Marilyn Monroe, that like this type of vibe. I'm not doing the best impersonation, just don't at me right now. Okay. Ladies love the makeup shows, fun. Thanks guys. Christine also prefers to put her makeup on with fingers. You know what? Like girls who get it, get it. Um, Shirley said, you don't need any makeup, just be natural and wear lipstick, which I do sometimes, but she said, don't ruin your skin. The cool thing is that with Suzanne Organics, I will never ruin my skin. These products are only beneficial, certified non-toxic. They're the best products ever. Okay. So I put on a lot because I have really dark eyes and under eye areas. So I like to really get the white on. Okay, there we have it. So, now that we have that on, I'm gonna do a little brow. We don't have brow pencils, Suzanne Organics, because um, Wyatt's here, we love it. I love Katz is here, all my friends are here. What a great evening we're spending together. Okay, so this is just a brow pencil. You can get this anywhere. We don't have pencils because the pencils, when we tried to make them, they weren't good enough. And like, who needs a bad product? So not that they were bad, but just who would need that anyway? So I'm just doing a little fill here. Um, I recently plucked my eyebrows, so you guys are in luck. I don't know that anyone would have noticed. Okay, so little fill. 
Um, don't go crazy with eyebrow fill. No one needs like, I don't, I don't know. We, we don't need like, if you have dark brows naturally great, but we don't, we don't need like a, a filled, like Lord Farquaad vibe if that's not your natural look. Okay. Hi, Aunt Maria. My Aunt Maria's here. Okay, so I just did that. I am gonna use a little brow gel. And unfortunately, whatever brand I'm using is probably toxic. So this is not Suzanne Organics. But you know, I'm just keeping them in place. I'm picking and choosing, buying organic whenever I can, which is why, you know, I would be remiss not to use every Suzanne product that I can, especially with the free gift today of this Garnet lipstick for any purchase over, or no, for any purchase over $34.99. So basically spend $35 and get a free gift. These products will last too, I'm telling you. Okay, now I've kind of done that base. Oh, so I'm teaching you how to a buildable look. So I'm using this, this brush. If you have a little kind of smudgy brush like this, this is good. So here's this makeup palette. I'm going in with the dark. Since these are all natural, sometimes they get really pigmented or they take a little longer to smudge. It's all worth it because the products are so good and the colors are great. So just make sure that you kind of know how much you're putting on before you do it. But I'll teach you something. So after you put the white on your eye, you just go in and you do kind of like an eyeliner and you just go right on the eye line with the dark color. Okay, I go under two, really makes the eyes pop. Okay, see, it's a subtle difference, but you can see we're starting to get a little deeper here with this eye. Um, now I'm doing it again other eye. I'm knocking things over. Okay. Work below the lid. You know, sometimes it's nice. Don't go right up into that waterline. Just go slightly below it. It's going to make your eyes look a little bigger, okay? Do I know when the golden shimmer eyeshadow will be back in stock? Gabrielle, I'm so sorry. I do not. I do not know that. Um, but maybe someone magical fairy will come online and tell us, <laughs> meaning my mom or chill. <laughs> okay. So we've done just a slight eye pop. Now I'm going to choose. Here's the thing. No, I'm, I might do mascara. Okay. We're going to decide in a second, but first of all, I'm going to do a little blush. I'm going to use this multi stick because right now we're doing like a day glow, easy look. So I'm gonna go in with the multi-stick. I'm using it for like blush purposes. This, I know this is a huge product. Everyone loves it and you can see why. Look at this just subtle glow this is giving my cheeks. I mean, my face just came to life just now. Like, that was fun. Teresa said, do you know, do you, I wear the same foundation color as my mom? I'm not sure, I have slightly lighter skin than her, I think, depending on the season. Okay, popular opinion, oh air conditioners on. Let me turn it off, guys. Stay there. Stay with me. You're not going to want to miss this. Wait, I don't know how to turn it off. Help me. Okay, you guys, I don't know how to turn it off. Is it really bad or is it fine? Okay. Just tell me if you actually can't hear me and then I'll figure out the air conditioner. Okay, multi-stick, we put it on the cheeks. I like a lot of blush, so don't mind me while I'm really putting it on. I put it across my forehead too because it makes it look like you actually got sun. And I also put it on my nose. Crazy, don't go too crazy on the nose part, but you know what I mean? Now we're gonna blend. This blends so easily, like, and the color, it's just that perfect sun-kissed, like, it really couldn't be more perfect. Okay. Okay, thank you for 
hear reviews on the air conditioning. I'm sorry about that unfortunate noise. Okay, that's great. And then also you can put a little bit on the eyes too. Well, I don't know if that's recommended, so don't get at me. Like, I don't know what the CDC says, but okay. There's that. I think you can use it on your lip. Why not? Yay. Okay. So again, we don't, should I do a little powder? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, and I'm gonna do bronzer. You know, I've got such a nice spread here. There we go, I think the AC's off. Got a nice spread here. Are these brushes different? This looks like powder. Like, why not use it to my best ability? Okay, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer here. Again, we're building the base. We're building the base. This is gonna be a buildable look and I'll teach you how to go in even darker with the eyes if you wanna do like a day to night look. Here's some bronzer, you know. Don't go too crazy with this stuff. You gotta know how much you're putting on. So make sure you're looking in the mirror because oftentimes I don't and I just kind of like do my makeup and then it's smudged everywhere and it doesn't look good. So we're looking at ourselves, we're checking out our colors. Um, this bronzer I use all the time, especially in the summer because I don't like getting my face actually tan. So I use it in order to, um, you know, give me that, it's not good to put your face in the sun. Like no one needs to get their face in the sun so much. So I use it to give me that natural glow, you know what I mean? You can do some on the collarbones. I'm rocking a little bit of chest acne, you know? Things happen, okay. So I just did that. I'm gonna use a little bit of powder and I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed because there are so many great options here. So we have these powdery options. This looks too light for me. This is Sheer Press Powder Light, and this is Sheer Press Powder Medium. I think I'm gonna be a medium girl. This powder is so great. I've been using it since I was in high school. So I'm gonna try, here's the thing. We have those two powders, and then we also have Matte Finish Mineral Powder, which looks enticing. I'm gonna try both and see what I like better. So I guess I'm just gonna go in my oily regions, which is like here. Maybe I'll go under the eyes a bit. Here. Okay. Here's this one. This one looks darker, but I'm really attracted to the fact that this powder is loose. Oops, I'm getting it everywhere. Okay. Just a reminder for anyone who's just coming on, we have a free gift today, which is the Garnet Lipstick, which we are going to try on soon. Um, and we have a free gift with any purchase over $34.99. So spend $35, get one of the most beautiful lipsticks you'll ever see. Okay. So sometimes you can just tap it in like that. Again, don't go too crazy with the powder. We like a natural dewy face. Just go in your oily regions, like, do a little on the chin, great, we love it. Look at that. Look at that powder, look at that. This is fantastic, there's no filter on this. This is just fantastic skincare. Who here likes the loose powder? I wanna know, like who has tried both powders and what do you guys, what do you guys like? Are you a loose or pressed powder girl? Um, okay, so now we have this, but a look would not be complete without lips. So I'm just getting, here's the thing. Like I said, we don't have, what's it called? We don't do line, like liners here. We don't do pencils because we want to give you only the best product. So we don't have lip pencils because we made them, they weren't good enough. So I'm going to show you just like with one of my lip pencils and then you can use a lip pencil that you have at your house. Um, I think I'm gonna use this color. So, popular or unpopular opinion, I'm not sure. I'm doing the daytime version right now. And I kind of like to do, you know, soft skin, soft eye makeup, and then a nice lip for daytime, you know? I think that's nice. And then for nighttime, we go heavier on the eyes, lighter on the lip. And, you know, I didn't even put on mascara with this. I personally think if you want to act really natural, you want your 
usually it's a male partner who thinks you're not wearing makeup when you actually have a ton of makeup on and you don't wear mascara and they're like, wow, you're so beautiful when you wake up and you're kind of like, okay, I have actually have so much makeup on right now, but hey, I didn't do mascara. Oh, how can you order? Free gift, I don't know, it just says free gift with any, with any purchase of $34.99 or more. So I think the gift's just included. So just go online at SuzanneSummers.com, SuzanneSummers.com, order whatever you want and get a free gift. We're gonna be trying to garnet now. So, oh, this is not sharpened. Um, just give me a little moment to sharpen this. I don't need that awful feeling of an unsharpened lip liner on my lips right now. Okay. Um, here, little liner. Don't go crazy with the overlining, but yes, I think you should overline it slightly. See, just below my lip line, but it's not like I'm pretending that I have a different lip than I actually have. Just go right on or below that line. Don't make it too obvious. Then, okay. Number one secret to any good lip. And I won't lie guys, I kind of like, I kind of, I kind of slap with the lips. Like I know how to do a good lip. I know how to make it look natural, make it look supple. You know what I mean? There's nothing worse than that cakey thing, that cakey look on the lips. It's not good. We don't need, we don't need it to look like you're wearing lipstick. We need it to look like this is your natural lip. Okay. So number one secret is the Suzanne Organics Chapstick. I swear by this. If I don't have one in my purse at all times, I'm having a meltdown. You know why? Because this is the best chapstick I have ever tried in my life. Oh, it's, I'm not supposed to say chapstick. I'm supposed to say lip balm. This is the best lip balm I've ever tried in my life, especially in this tube form. So easy, just put it on like this. I mean, if you walk out of this live and you have never tried this chapstick, I, or, sorry, lip balm, I really highly recommend going to SuzanneSummers.com and buying it, you will not regret it. And a couple of the other things, like, you know what I mean? What are you missing in your makeup arsenal? Do you need a blush? Do you need a lipstick? You're gonna get one anyway, if you spend $34.99 or more, because this is a free gift and it's garnet. Okay, garnet, yes. Now I'm gonna put this on. This is our kind of daytime look, you know what I mean? Look at this. Would you look at me? and say, wow, that girl is wearing so much lipstick, I'm distracted. No, you would not. Look at this natural, beautiful color. I'm just blending out the liner of it. Look at this beautiful color. Free gift today. You could get this. You know, my lips are not, they're not that pigmented naturally. They're kind of gray-ish. And look at this, this is an everyday look. I'm at the office, I have my hair up. Um, you know, getting a lunch with a girlfriend, I have my hair down, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to build off this look. And we're gonna switch up a few things and we're just gonna build, okay? So all using non-toxic Suzanne products. These products are so incredible, I cannot say. Do we get to choose the lipstick color or do, did you say garnet? Jane the lipstick is garnet so that's a free gift but you do get to choose because you can buy any of these lipsticks on suzannesummers.com and with a gift or with a purchase of 35.99 or more or 34.99 or more you will get a free garnet lipstick this color where did i just put it this color is amazing i mean look at this this color is amazing i would just tap it on a little this is pretty pigmented we use like berries and beets and stuff to make these colors. You don't usually get these types of colors with, um, you know, with with natural pro, like it's hard. It's hard to get enough pigment, but look, this is so pigmented. I just dab it on, we're done, okay? We're not gonna go ham. We're not gonna put on too much. You don't want it to look cakey. You don't want it to look like you tried because we did not try. Okay, now I'm gonna, okay. So this is the Garnet lipstick. Take a good look because I'm about to take it off because we're doing even more makeup now. So I'm just getting some tissues. We're doing even more makeup because now we're about to do a deeper eye. But first I'll just show you with a little bit of mascara how this looks. 
Do you sell loose powder? Said Carrie New Hope on Instagram. Yes, we do, and it's incredible. I just used it. Matte finish mineral powder. This is really good powder. And it's made of minerals. All these things are made of like vitamins, minerals, and plants and beets. How bad could that be putting that on your skin? I'd argue probably good. Okay, mascara. Here's the trick, guys. Blink slowly. You gotta be patient. Sometimes it takes me five minutes to do my mascara. But you know what? We're in this for the for the long haul. We are not skipping out on this very important step. We're blinking slowly. No glue in this mascara, no lead, no parabens because um, there is glue in normal mascaras. I'm not even kidding. Glue, and you could say like, oh, well, why does it matter that there's glue in mascara? It's just my eye. Exactly, it's touching your eye. That's what my grandma always says. It matters a lot because it's really, it's so close to your eye. You don't want those toxins getting into your eyeballs. Who knows what it could do to your vision. I mean, I don't know, I'm making that up, but anyway, okay. I'm doing this. Sorry, it's it's gonna take a second, but you're just gonna stay with me and we're gonna tell stories. And I wanna know what you guys are listening to right now in terms of your music and what your Valentine's Day plans are. This is a Valentine's Day show. We want you looking hot and fresh for your honeys and for yourself because we all know that sensuality starts with feeling sensual first by yourself um and that can come in many forms but putting on makeup it does give me a little extra like mm, i'm feeling fine today you know what i mean i had a really nice valentine's day jeffrey took me to a really nice dinner and okay so see how i know this is taking forever but see how i'm really getting those lashes like they're getting longer and more separated by the minute. And I put a little bit on the bottom. Don't go crazy on the bottom. We don't want Spider Woman, okay? Okay. So Jeffrey took me to a really nice dinner for Valentine's Day. And we honestly ate, he slayed, I can't lie. He really slayed. Last year, he didn't fully hit the mark, but he made a valiant effort. And I appreciate that. Um. And this year he, you know, we went to a nice dinner. We got oysters. I do love oysters. And he got me chocolates and flowers. He did the whole thing. It was so sweet. Um, do you guys make weird faces when you put on mascara? Cause I know that's a thing. Um, okay, you're also gonna think I'm crazy, but like, we're gonna go in with more mascara later. Trust me, it's going to make you look so pretty the way I'm doing it, but we're in this for the long haul, okay? Spending an extra five minutes on your mascara will change your whole overall makeup look. I mean, look at this. How can you get these types of results with an all natural product? It's very impressive. Okay, going a little bit on the bottom. We're not going crazy. We are not spider women, okay. So now you see the mascara. So this is still like a daytimey look. You know what I mean? Still daytimey. She's fun. She's flirty. You know what I mean? She's going out on the town, maybe. Or she's going to build this look. We're going to go even crazier. Okay, so now since I'm about to build the look a little more with some eyeshadow, I'm going to take off this lipstick. This lipstick is too intense for a dark eyeshadow, okay? So... This is Garnet, the free gift. And look at how nice that is blotted too. If you want a more natural look, like, hey, I just woke up and rolled out of bed like this. All my lips are naturally this beautiful pink, you know, red color. Look at how beautiful that is. You know what I mean? That is a free gift today with any purchase of $34.99 $34 or more. So you spend 35 bucks and get this beautiful natural lip look. Again, blotting it you know, dabbing it on after the chapstick, get this chap, or after the lip balm, get this lip balm. It's just the best lip balm. Okay, so I'm taking this off because we are, we're about to go in with more eye makeup. And we're girls who know how to pace things, okay? We're not the girls who are gonna, 
who are gonna do everything. You know what I mean? We're the girls who are discerning. Cheers to discernment this 2023. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. You know how I taught you that trick with the making a little eyeliner out of the, out of the brown color? So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do that again, just a little deeper this time. Again, this stuff is super pigmented and sometimes intense, so know how much you're putting on, okay? Oh, Francesca's putting the lip balm and loose powder in her cart. Obsessed. Show us your results. Post on Instagram. Show us how it goes. Okay, I'm uh, putting this on like this. I'm gonna dip a little more because I was being cautious. Okay. We're just going right there on the line. Lining the lid below the waterline. It's getting a little more intense. This eye. Right there on the line. Great. Now, the other look, the first look I showed you, was kind of like, it's daytime but it could also work for night. But this is if you really want to glam it up. Give yourself that extra, you know what I mean? Okay. So we, again, we don't have pencils or liners, so I'm gonna use one of my toxic liners here. Don't mind me, um, because we didn't, the ones we made, they weren't good enough, and we're not gonna give you a bad product. So if you have just like a black or a brown liner, you could do it with either color. And honestly, I should probably be doing this with more of a pencil-y liner, but I'm doing it with a liquid one. It'll work still. I'm going inside the waterline. Going inside the waterline. And I'm lining the whole eye. Just so you, okay, I'm like not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I hope I'm doing it right. Okay, that looks lined to me. Okay. Now I'm going in the bottom waterline. Now we are doing it on the waterline because we're going for intensity. I'm sorry for scaring you with my eyeball. I know no one really wants to see that. Okay, just let that simmer. I know my eye looks crazy right now, but it's because it's just reacting to <laughs> being poked. Just let that simmer for a sec. Okay. I'm going in. Here we are, eyeliner, work, lining the eye. We're going for the intensity, the big glam moment, the date night, we're doing the whole thing. Okay, some of you, we're doing a little cat eye, just a little bit, just to accentuate the, just to accentuate the, the mascara. It should just look like a continuation of your mascara. Like I said, we're not trying, we're just, we're just doing the thing, you know what I mean? Like there is a way to make heavy makeup look natural, you know? Okay, so here we are. Now we have this, it's a little more built, you know what I mean? We're gonna do a different lipstick and I'm gonna do a little more of the bronzer because the bronzer is just gonna contour me a little bit, you know what I mean? Just a little more for the heavier makeup look, just a little more definition there, okay. Okay, look at this. This bronzer is so great. It's like not orangey. It spreads so easily and it's made of minerals. Like who wouldn't want that? Like why wouldn't you upgrade to that great bronzer? You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm gonna use a different blush too. So I'm planning on doing sort of a nude lip for this look. So the blush that I'm gonna use is gonna be along those lines. Um, I'm really liking the look of this Coral Crush. Yeah, this is Coral Crush. So I'm gonna do Coral Crush and I think I'm gonna mix a few. Honestly, the blushes are so great. These are some of my favorites, so you really can't go wrong. First, I'm gonna go in with, first I'm gonna go in with a Caramelized Peach. I'm gonna do a lot of blush, okay? Just get ready, brace yourself. Caramelized Peach. Caramelized Peach is making me look like my face has life. I was in the sun. Here we go. Um, a lot of people are saying you don't need all that makeup. 
while I appreciate that they're trying to be nice, guys, let's be honest, makeup is fun. Sometimes you wanna do the thing. You really want to do a heavier makeup look, you know? It's not like I don't wear makeup at all. I mean, most people wear makeup, I feel like. Or maybe some people don't, I don't know, but I wear makeup, so I'm not just gonna not wear makeup. Look at this. So mixing caramelized peach and antique rose. And now I'm even gonna go on top of that with Coral Crush. Call me crazy, call me crazy. But just look, it's giving me this, Coral Crush is so nice because it's this beautiful, like blushy ballet pink tone. It's so fun, guys. Like how much fun are we having this evening? Okay, so that's Coral Crush. Like I'm almost tempted to use Berry Pop too, but we're, we're gonna just stop there, okay? Um, Okay, now we're going in with another lip liner. So just use your lip liner, whatever you have, because we don't make liners. And use a sort of nudie tone going in like this. Just a reminder for those of you who don't know. Again, I'm going right on the lip line or like slightly below it. For those of you who don't know, we're doing the free gift of the Garnet Lipstick, which I just tried on. The Garnet Lipstick, with any purchase of $34.99 or over. So you can get any makeup, I think it's anything on the site that's $34.99 or over, will give you the free gift of the lipstick. Really, you want this lipstick. I'm just saying it's giving you that natural, blotted, you know, effect you can apply it with your fingers make it look super french you know what i mean it's all safe makeup non-toxic it's amazing people are asking about the black shadow where do you apply that good question let's do some black shadow why not we'll do it okay um and then wait let me put on the lipstick now okay but first i'm never putting on a lipstick without a chapstick first it's just it gets crunchy my lips get chap lip balm sorry i'm saying the wrong word i'm never putting on a lipstick without this lip balm like this lip balm is the base of everything how do you go about choosing the right foundation color i'm getting that question okay so porcelain is the lightest one so if you are a fair girl you're gonna get porcelain uh sand and medium here i can put these on my skin i have kind of like my skin's kind of light olive right now because i um haven't been in the sun, but this is sand. So you can see that's kind of dark. It's not dark, but it's darker than I am. And then medium, it's just a slightly different tone, but I do think sand is a little darker. Or maybe they're just different. Medi the sand has more orangey in it. And then mocha is sort of the next step. Wait, mocha, or sorry, this is bronze. This is. This is bronze right here. That's darker. And then this is, this is mocha, which is a deep tone. So you can see them. I today mixed porcelain and sand, just so you know. Okay, we're going back in for the eyeshadow. Can I show the lightest one? Yes, sorry, I did all of them except for that one. This is porcelain. Okay. And then in terms of the powders too, like if you get porcelain foundation, you'd probably wanna get the lightest powder and the lightest concealer. I always go a little lighter with my concealer anyway. So um, I'm the light concealer. I'm the light medium concealer. This is the medium dark concealer. So I'm light medium. Like maybe my mom's medium dark, I don't know. Okay. So I'm gonna do one thing at a time. I know we still want some black eyeliner. Oh my God, WH McKinsey just said, can you go for a whole day without using a lip balm or do you feel confident that your lips will be moist on their own? I cannot go a whole day without using that lip balm. I swear, I literally can't. It's my favorite thing. Jeff can't go a whole day without using the lip balm. Jeff irritates me every night because I'll get in bed and then he'll say lip balm. And it means he wants the lip balm and I've just gotten in bed. So I have to get out of bed and get it for him. Um, he's obsessed. We're all obsessed. Great gift too. It's amazing. Okay. So I'm going to finish doing one thing at a time. And then we're going to go in with the black eyeliner or like the black shadow here. So I'm going to do a nude 
lip today. It's like hard for me to choose because they're all such good colors. Caramelized peach is a great color. That's gonna, it's a little more summery. You know what I mean? So here, I'll just try, I'll just try it. Okay, caramelized peach. Look at this great color and it matches the blush really well, you know? Fantastic. So you can see this is different than the Garnet. It's not quite as pigmented and it's a little more nude. It's going with this eyeshadow look a little bit better. You know what I mean? Love caramelized peach. So I'm gonna teach you how to use some of the black eye shadow. So if it were me, I wish I had a different brush because if you have one of those thin flat ones that's slightly tilted, you can get it slightly wet and dip it in this and use it kind of as eyeliner. But just be really careful with how much you use because again, it's pigmented. So test it out on your hand first and then just go in and go right on the line again. You know? And you just gradually make this look deeper, as deep as you want it by going in and adding more step by step. Step by step, my grandma's show. Okay. See, just a little bit more with the black. You don't need too much of the black. It's super strong. So this palette will last you a long time, you know? Look at that. Look at that. If you want that Chrissy Snow look of the black, the black dark eyes and the nude lips, we can do that. Here, I'll put on a lipstick that's a little bit more nude so you can see. Okay. I'm taking off Caramelized Peach. We loved Caramelized Peach. What colors do I have on my lid? So I have this palette, which is the Essential Shadow Palette. I love the Essential Shadow Palette. I generally use this one, like this is my go-to. So um, Ivory, I've been using Ivory, Cocoa, and Charcoal, but let's just add a little flesh on there for fun. Big brush for the flesh color. This is a little bit more pinky. Here we go. It's really nice, it's just slightly, deeper than the ivory color, which is nice. If if you have like slightly deeper skin, the flesh would probably be a better go-to than the ivory. Okay. Now we're gonna do the Chrissy Snow dark lips, or I mean dark eye nude lip look. And I think we do have a special guest who's wanting to say hi. So before I put on the next lipstick, I'm just gonna go grab her because Bunny's here. Bunny! Hello, Bunny. Hello, say hi to the live. Say hi, Bunny. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, so Bunny loves licking my face and stuff, and she loves licking my lips. But, you know, I'd be nervous if I wasn't wearing organic products. I'd be really nervous about her licking my face, you know what I mean? Because I don't want bunny ingesting toxins. So now we're using Antique Rose. Okay, someone's asking me to sh show Antique Rose versus Berry Pop lipstick. I can't decide which I like. Yes, I will show you that. Berry Pop is my go-to, gotta say. We all have our go-to, Berry Pop is my go-to. But this is Antique Rose. So as you can see, the Antique Rose, it's kind of similar to Caramelized Peach, but it's a little cooler, you know? I actually prefer this with this look. I'd probably tone down the blush a little bit for this color. A oh, bunny boo. And, um, but look at how great this nude is. Like, I actually can't think of a more perfect nude. Look at that. That is so nice. It's, it has a perfect amount of pink in it. It's nice and cool. It goes well with my skin. You know, you also have to take into consideration, like, what's your skin tone? What goes well with your skin? Hi, hi boo boo. Sometimes the honey glow can look nice in between, just in the middle. So I'm gonna take the honey glow. This is for really fair skinned people, in my opinion, or people who like blondes, honey glow usually looks great on. Okay, I'm just going right in the middle. For us brunettes or people with slightly darker skin, you need a color to line it. That's, that would be my recommendation. So see, it just lightens it up a little bit. This is Honey Glow. So right now I have on Antique Rose and Honey Glow, and I do suggest 
getting a little liner of your own to just line your lips. Look at how nice that is. And then it makes the eye really pop. This is the Chrissy Snow look, okay? I mean, at least my interpretation of it. I can never, we can never be Chrissy Snow, but we can try and this is me trying. Okay, someone wanted to see the berry pop next to Antique Rose. I'll do that in a second, but I'm actually gonna hit you all with a plot twist and add a little more mascara because I do think what I usually do is after, um, after I put on one coat, I usually let it dry. And then I put on another coat. Call me crazy, but don't, don't go crazy with the bottom coats, okay? And look at how nice this makeup looks. So most of your eye is like light and then just around the rim, it gets dark. It's just a beautiful makeup. And you can achieve this look with every single, every single Suzanne product. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe you use your own eyeliner but you don't even really need eyeliner because you can use that shadow as liner so okay so after it dries we're doing another coat of mascara this is such a great look for a party it's like it works for everything i do this makeup all the time and it's not that hard oh bunny oh bunny wants to sniff the products okay i'm doing just a little more on the bottom again not going crazy bunny boo okay look at this i'm i'm personally loving this i'm i'm on a little bit of a high from how great i feel with all this makeup okay now i'm gonna show you berry pop and antique rose i'm gonna do it right on my hand so you can see i'm gonna just put her down bunny say bye say bye bunny and then we're gonna wrap this thing up so you'll find your go-to color for me i personally love all of them for different reasons this is berry pop so that's if you put on like, that's if you put it on thick, you know what I mean? That's a thick one. I'll put it on my lips too so you can see. This is Antique Rose. So this is like a thick coat of Antique Rose. Again, it depends on how thick you're putting it on, but Antique Rose is just a little softer and a little bit cooler than Berry Pop. It's a little more intense. Um, I'll try on Berry Pop so you can see. Again, I really think with this combination and how heavy the eyes are, the Antique Rose and the Honey Glow are where it's at. But I'm gonna put on a little Berry Pop just so you can see. And make sure you properly line everything or else your lips are gonna get lost. Okay. I'm putting on Berry Pop so you can see my go-to girl. But I prefer Berry Pop with a little less makeup. Like Garnet, you know what I mean? I can't do this without this. So don't don't try to be a superwoman and put on the lipstick without the lip balm it's just it's gonna go on so smoothly with the lip balm you can see how much i use this because it's at the very end and i'm sure that i've already used like a whole one since last month i can't live without that product okay this is very pop this is my home girl this is home base for me every day it's great it's great it even looks good with this you know what i mean very 90s again i prefer the nudie with this heavy of an eye but it's 90s and then don't forget that anything you spend on suzannesummers.com today that is over 34.99 with any purchase of 34.99 you get a free gift which is the garnet lipstick and we'll post the show afterwards so you can see all the makeup looks. The Garnet lipstick is so beautiful with a natural makeup look. Just a little bit of mascara foundation. This Garnet lipstick, just blot it on, use your finger, you be super French about it, make it look like you just woke up like that. It's such a great thing and you get it for free with any purchase of $34.99 today. Okay guys, this was so fun. I had so much fun doing my makeup. Tell me, Tell, I want to hear about your experiences. Tell me all about your makeup and how you're liking these products. What are you gonna What are you gonna get that you, you maybe don't have? What are you gonna use? What do you like? What are your favorite makeup looks? We want to hear about it. So tell me everything, and we're gonna post this. And yeah, can't wait to hear your guys' makeup journey. Okay, have a great night, everyone. Bye. Okay, wait, I'm trying.